man. So look, uh, dog, I know. I know y'all. I've been going for two weeks. I've been going for two weeks. That's not like me. That's that is not like me to be gone for that long, man. But you know, it's all good though. You know what I'm saying? You two want to keep banning me back to back, back to back. You know, it's cool though. It, it's all good. Like I said, we back and we better, baby. By the time y'all see this video though, this news is definitely gonna probably be like five, six days old. I don't know. But this news is very old. But this right here is the Travis Scott situation. I really want to talk about it and really just let everybody know that you know yes this is travis scott fault but not all of it is his fault and you know i got my reasons you know i got my reasons behind it you know i've been stuck on this story for a couple days now since i heard about it and bro it's really tragic it's really tragic that even this stuff had to happen especially to a 14 year old boy but not just a 14 year old boy that 14 year old boy is part of eight the among the eight people that passed away so um rest in peace all the eight people that passed away you know what i'm saying this was very unfortunate but Look, I came across this video of a guy who actually explained how it was being in the concert. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not a concert person, but he actually explained how it was being in that concert. I see uh, the paramedics, they explained how it was being in the concert and why the eight people that they was trying to save couldn't make it. You know what I'm saying? It's 50,000 people. You barely can get to the freaking front of the building. You know what I'm saying? You barely get to the front, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, I mean, it's like penises on booty and- What? Every, bro, it's just crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, this dude has, he explained it really well, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, yo, we finna go ahead and get this video, man. You know, hit the like button, subscribe to my post notifications, follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. But I'm from the dude, let's get it, man. It just felt like we was like, literally like in fucking hell, bro. Like, it felt like we was in a concert in hell. You couldn't breathe. You couldn't see, like, just imagine all the people they're going to find tonight who was in that crowd, who nobody could see, who nobody could hear. And you know what's crazy? He said it felt like we was being in hell. It felt like it was a concert in hell. And I can honestly believe him. 50,000 people all buckled together. Bro, I could believe him. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, at that point, it's like, you barely could breathe. You barely could do anything. That's why I said, bro, this this life is really, it's starting to, uh, like, open me up and really explain, like, this is this is life without Jesus. This is the life without Jesus. You know why I say that? Everything is normalized that doesn't glorify Jesus. I'm talking about, like, sex before marriage, LGBT, LGBT community, whatever you want to call it. Uh, then, you know, nigga, all these mainstream artists that demonic, bro. It was so much, the, when I seen this concert, bro, it was just so much demonic things that was just around. You know what I'm saying? Like, just everything just seemed demonic, bro. Like, I mean, like, even the entrance. The entrance, not his head, not people entering through his head, but I'm talking about it was some type of crazy, weird sound in the entrance. Like, don't know. Like, it was just crazy, bro. It was weird. You know what I'm saying? But come on, man. Who passed out? And everybody was just trumpling on top of them the whole fucking concert. Like, I'm thinking it's probably gonna be like at least a hundred people who dead tonight. Like, I, I kid you not. Like, in the VIP section, it was so many bodies laid out. People was getting pulled out who was fainted, and the people were trying the medics were trying to give them CPR, and they was flipping them over, and like they was literally turning them black and blue. Like, I never seen no, I never seen death in my fucking life, bro. Just by me alone, it was probably like. 10 fucking people laid out dead. And like once the medics tried to help them, they wasn't responding. They moved to the next person. It was nothing they could have do. Like this shit, like this shit really fucked me up and like really spooked me tonight. Like that was like some demonic shit. Like, and what was so crazy, like people were screaming help, trying to tell Travis, Travis Scott, they was like help. The whole crowd was just going like help, help. And and that's the, that I seen that too, bro. I seen that too. Like it was like the crazy thing about it, bro, and how and why people saying that this man sacrificed eight people, eight of his fans, is simply because, bro, they was screaming help. And I seen the video; they was literally screaming help, help, help. Somebody in the tree, turn the lights on. Like they was, they was honestly screaming at jump. You know what I'm saying? And they even chanted it. They even chanted so, cause I understand that if you got one, two, three, maybe ten people, maybe even thirty or forty people saying help. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna hear them. Fifty thousand people, bro, out of the forty people saying help out of the fifty thousand, you're not gonna hear that. I get that point. But they was chanting. I'm talking about you heard it in the crowd. They chanted almost like ninety five percent of the crowd. Stop the show. Stop the show. Stop. It was just going back to back, back to, you know what I'm saying? So honestly, bro, it's really like, 
Me personally, I wasn't, I don't even listen to rap like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I don't listen to rap, period. But I don't listen to these main, these new mainstream artists. Like Travis Scott, he he motivated his his fans to rage and and do all this. Like it was just like he he did this to his fans, but he probably didn't know that it was gonna lead to this point. But now that it did, this man probably is stressed out. You know what I'm saying? I seen his weak apology video, and I'm gonna call it weak because I mean, bro, it seemed like it was not even an apology. It was just like a Man, uh, 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 yeah, I apologize for what happened. It don't sound like the man was really sincere about it. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, it's his fault, but it's not all his fault. So for everybody that's blaming Travis Scott for the situation, y'all need to stop. It's not just Travis Scott's situation. His fans knew what he, what they was getting into. You know what I'm saying? This is what I had to realize. I'm like, you know what? You can't even point the finger all at Travis Scott. It's not like. He did all this, you know, he was just trying to have a show and he didn't know that it, he probably didn't really know that it was going to get to this point. You know what I'm saying? People got all these conspiracy theories about the eight, the eight pillars of flames that flew up. And uh, I remember one of his videos, he had like the eight on his shirt. It, look, everybody can have their own opinions about it. I feel like it's everyone's fault who was involved in it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody played a part in this, in this, um, in this tragedy. For real. But come on, we go uh, finish this, man. Help! He just kept going, bro. It was like, this shit was scary, bro. It was so demonic, bro. And mind you, y'all see the type of music I make. Y'all see everything. Like, you know, like, I've been so heavily influenced by Travis. But, like, after tonight, bro, like, God really showed me, like, you know, like, stay away from that shit, bro. Like, that shit not for you. Because, like, he sacrificed so many people's lives tonight. Like, for real. Like, so many people's lives are gone tonight. Because they want to go to a fucking Travis Scott concert and have fun. You know, he influenced people to be raging and all this shit. So many people Sorry. broke in and it was just chaos, bro. It was a living fucking hell, bro. Imagine seeing all those dead bodies and that was that was just by me. We had Now one thing I wanted to say, bro, imagine in like when he say it was like living hell. Like imagine being in a being in the concert. You know what I'm saying? It's 50,000 people. People on top of people, top on people. Top. Like, first of all, it's this thing that's going around that gets people sick and people dying from it. it, it's, it that, that, now, that right there, I believe is real because I had it. You know what I'm saying? And it, it wasn't nice. It wasn't fun having that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all probably know what I'm talking about. It wasn't fun having it. I had it. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't I don't even wish that on my worst enemy. That's how, like, that stuff was not it. You know what I'm saying? And thank God my symptoms wasn't that bad, but that was not it, Chief. For real. But it's people top, people piled on top of each other. I'm talking about penis against penis, penis. Like, I, I'm, I'm just visualizing. I'm not saying it like in a gay matter. You can say it's gay. But at the end of the day, I mean, like, bro, if you claustrophobic and you at this con, bro, you're done with it. You're done with it. You're done with it. It was, it's crazy. We had eight, at least eight confirmed. Eight confirmed fatalities, and we had scores of, of individuals that were injured here in this event. We had an attendance of approximately 50,000 uh, to the Travis Scott Astro World Festival event. What we do know is that at approximately 9 o'clock, 9.15, the, the crowd began to, to compress towards the front of, of the stage, okay? And that caused some panic and it started causing some injuries. People began to fall out, uh, become unconscious, and it created additional additional panic. Bro, look at, look, look at this. What? Are you serious? Man, I just caught, man, I just caught a crap in my butt cheek, bro. You what? I just called I just called a cramp in my butt cheek getting up like that, bro. Bro. <laughs> I don't get it. Now this, I didn't see this. I didn't see this. This right here, right here, this right here is new to me. I didn't see this. Are you telling me? Bro, it's people piled on top of each other. Literally. Look at bro. Oh my gosh. Dog, this can't be, bro. This, this is who y'all work, bro. Y'all want to see this man so bad. Y'all tore down the gate. 
Y'all piling people up. People trying to get people up, bro. Just a whole bunch of, whole bunch of animals. Animals. Jumping on top of each other. Trying to get into the Travis Scott concert. Now, I get it. Travis Scott might be your favorite artist with the wolf, but you should never worship a noun. You know what I'm saying? Never worship a person, place, or thing. You just even worship this man. Why are people worshiping this man? Like, this is, this is what you call... I, if people came to Jesus like this, I think our world would be so much better. If people ran to Jesus how they run into this Travis Scott concert, I think our world would be so much better. You know why? Because I feel like actually there's no explanation to it. You know what I'm saying? It's self-explanatory. If people came to Jesus how they come into this Travis Scott concert, man, let 50,000 people come to Jesus today. Promise you. That's half, that, That's not even half of the world. You know what I'm saying? That's not even half. We got billions of people in this world. But I'm just saying. Look at all these people running, running. Ah! Travis, Travis, Travis! It's ridiculous. <laughs> Bro, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dog. If I was going to a concert and I was on the ground, like if I was going to a concert and I seen people on the ground, bro, I'm not stepping over them. I'm not stepping on them. I'm not stepping over them, bro. I'm gonna help them up. And I swear, if, and this is just me being real. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I'm a Christian. I'm a God fearing man. This is me being real. I'm being, I'm being hot and transparent with y'all. I promise you, I'm punching whoever, whoever steps on or jumps over. Because at the end of the day, bro, you see a human being on the floor and you see all these people coming at you, but I'm swinging. Wooka, wooka, waka, bika, tika. I'm hitting them. I'm hitting them, bro. Because it's like, that's just mad disrespectful. Like, they say, whoa, 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 what you do? People don't care, bro. People don't care. They, they trying to... This is... This Get past that, bro. I don't think YouTube will allow me to post that. Even though, even though, even though, you know what I'm saying? Even though, you know, this is on YouTube. YouTube don't like me, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This right here, this right here is what I heard. This right here is what I see him right here, bro. This is, this had me furious, bro. Let's do it. Okay, now I heard a lot of people say different things about this right here. Oh, they had the headphones and they probably thought, you know, they probably thought woot the wood. They probably thought, you know, people just get on stage to see Travis and do this and that. Now, let me be honest with y'all. If they was really getting on stage to see Travis, don't you think they would have ran to Travis? You know what I'm saying? They, you, you hear her mad. You hear it like you can see that she's mad. So it gotta be a problem. You know what I'm saying? They got dude behind him. You saying get off the, get off the stage, get off the stage. What the, now I get it. He might think, oh, they just on the stage trying to see Travis. They want to do this. I get it. He's famous. They want to run to him, probably hug, kiss him, suck his. I don't know what. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest. But you see it in their face. They said, someone's there. No, look. Like, they doing like this. Like, I mean, dog. Like, <laughs> they don't care. Drugs. We other people with drugs. We do have a report of a security officer, according to the medical staff that was out and treated him last night that he was reaching over to uh, restrain or grab a citizen and he felt a prick in his neck. When he was examined, he went unconscious. They administered Narcan. He was revived and the medical staff did notice a prick that was similar to 
um, uh, a prick that you would get if somebody's trying to jack. First of all, they brought drugs into the show, killing others, injecting people with things that shouldn't be in the body. But this right here is what I was talking about. The crowd shouldn't stop the show. Travis kept going. Travis seeing somebody being carried out and he starts singing, bro. When I tell you his voice sounded so demonic, bro, it was like this. Yeah, yeah, like some I don't know. It was something like that, you know what I'm saying? So much auto tune. God damn, I didn't even know they offer auto tune at the freaking concerts. That's crazy. Hey, Bro, that's bro. Every time I hear that, it give me chills, bro. But that's the end of the video, dog. That give me chills every time I hear. It. I can't even listen to that sound, bro. Like, it's the I don't know what it is. Is it? I, I don't know. It gave me chills, dog. For real, real talk. Uh, but anyways, man, look. First off, I just want to say, you know, um, rest the souls. Actually, I don't like saying rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather say long live, long live the people who died at the concert, the eight people, uh, the three, the 300 people who was injured. Uh, I pray that they recover. And then, you know, uh, I believe it was, it was some more, you know, it was more numbers, but can't remember it all, bro. But this is a tragic, a uh, tragedy. It's like, this world is really just coming to an end. We in the last days, and I keep saying that, but people don't want to listen to me because of my age or however, or whatever the reason is, but we are really in the last days. Everything that's happening right now, bro, like, dog, you, you can't tell me this ain't the last days, bro. I mean, like, people dying left and right, concerts getting like this. I mean, like, it's, like they said it was demonic. It looked demonic, bro. It looked very demonic. That concert looked very demonic, and I'm not just saying that you can say, oh, they just a Christian toe. They just a Christian toe. Even a person that said that he was a Travis Scott fan said it was demonic. Anyways, man, I'm finna go ahead and get off the video. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Shout out to, sh shout out. What what am I talking about? Oh, <laughs> I'm tweaking, man. I'm tweaking. Oh, but yeah, man, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on post notifications. Follow your boy on all social media platforms down below. It's been your boy, the pan. God bless. Stay blessed. I love y'all, man. I'm back, and we finna go harder than we ever came before. You know what I'm saying? God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.